Hi, welcome back to the U.S. President series. Today, we'll discuss the fifth president, uh, President James Monroe. So the election of 1816 saw Madison Secretary of State, Democratic Republican James Monroe, defeat Federalist Rufus King with nearly 70% of the popular vote. Monroe was the last president in an era of politics. He was the last president of the Virginia dynasty, the last founding father president, and the last to wear knee breeches while in office. Monroe was popularized prior to his presidency for negotiating the Louisiana Purchase during Jefferson's presidency. In office, he oversaw the era of good feelings, a time of unity and economic prosperity. In 1819, he signed the Adams-Onis Treaty, in which the U.S. secured Florida from Spain. In 1820, Monroe sought to abate internal tensions by signing the Missouri Compromise, which saw Missouri enter as a slave state and Maine enter as a free state. In 1823, he articulated what would become his best accomplishment, the Monroe Doctrine. This statement asserted that Western colonization by European powers would be looked down upon. It also stated that the New World and Europe would have separate spheres of influence. The economic development of the Erie Canal, which expanded trade throughout the growing nation, also occurred during a second term. In fact, Monroe was the only president, other than George Washington, to run for a second term unopposed.